Hello, I'm John, the Warhammer Modeler, and welcome to the final video in the series of converting Karloth Falwar for Necromunda. Now in this video, I'm going to do a bit of sculpting to tidy up a few of the details on the conversion. Things like filling the gaps where the original foot of Mephiston was. I'm going to re-sculpt some of the cloak down here. Other bits are going to include filling little gaps that are around the place. I've decided to keep the shoulder pads of the arms as is, so I'm just going to fill the gaps around those as well. A few little gaps on his crown. And then the final thing that I'm going to sculpt is longer hair coming over the necklace and things like that. So to get started, I'm going to mix some green stuff and start sculpting. Okay, so I've sculpted the bottom part of the cape here, and I have filled a few of the holes and the gaps and the holes on the crown. The next step will be sculpting the hair. So I'll get started on that. Okay, so I'm going to start with the green stuff I've got left over, roll it into a bit of a cylinder, split it into two. So I might have the right amount mixed, which is, it's a rarity. I often mix too much and then I have to try and find something else to do with it. So I'm just gonna roll out a little cylinder like that. And then I'm gonna place it where I want the hair to be. So I'm going to make it slightly flatter. So let's roll this a little bit more and just flatten that out. Okay. So that's where I'm going to want the hair to come down. So I'll get the other side 
done to a similar kind of level. So the benefit with the green stuff and other sculpting materials, two-part ones like this, is because they take a bit of time to cure, you have got time while you're sculpting to kind of move bits around and then as it gets harder you can add a little bit more detail and that kind of thing. So I've got that green stuff in roughly the position that I want it to be in. What I need to do now is start putting the texture in for the hair. So the way that I'm going to do that is just bit by bit using the sharp end of this sculpting tool is just push the detail in. So pushing the little shapes in, trying to get it to look like the end of the hair. I'll fold it over on itself while I do it. It's one of those things that you've just got to play around with and also don't worry while you do it. If it goes wrong, because it's a different material from the plastic, you can just take it off. So I'm just going to keep gently poking that in place. And then at the end, I'm just going to scrape off some bits to get a raggedy kind of edge to the hair. Okay, yeah, that's that one. Okay. So this one's a bit more kind of seen this side, so just going to take a little bit of time to push it to where I want it to be. Okay I'm, okay, I'm quite happy with the way that this hair is turning out. Just got to scrape the ends down now to Okay, I'm happy with the way that's turned out. I've got a little a little bit of green stuff left so I'm just going to have a quick look around for any parts where I've missed a gap or a hole or something there's always a little bit of time with the green stuff that you can add bits of it when while it's going off All right, what I'm going to do then with this little bit then um, Let's put it on, just put it on there and add a little bit more detail to this part of the cape. Just another little ripple there. Okay, well, there we go. So that's it. The Karloff Valois conversion is now complete. I'm happy with the way that the green stuff has gone. The next part of the job, once I wait for the green stuff to cure, I'll then be priming this and thinking about paint schemes and things like that. If people would like to see the painting process as a series of videos, please drop it in the comments, let me know. 
But for now, I'm really happy with the way this has turned out. Normally when I'm doing a conversion, I'll do it in one sitting, but I've done this over quite a few weeks to produce the videos for it. If you've liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to get notifications, follow me and hit the little bell. So, this is Carlos Valois for Necromunda, and I'm John, the Warhammer Modeler. Stay safe.